Okay, now, Story of Dead Rising 2, I'll just say over here, I actually really like the Story of Dead Rising 2. I wasn't expecting it to be great, I was expecting it to be decent, because I just played the Dead Rising 2 case zero, I was like, okay, this is, has a pretty interesting kind of story, even though there's not much of it, because it's only somewhat of a demo, and it's a prequel, so it doesn't really tell you that much, and I was like, okay, I like the kind of storyline that this game has, and so does Dead Rising 2, the actual game. Dead Rising 2, I thought, had a really good story. You follow Chuck Green, like in Dead Rising 2K0, and he's a different character than Frank West, obviously. He has a different name. He looks different, so he's different. Uh, he, he's different. He doesn't have a freaking camera. He has a motorcycle with chainsaws on it. Better, yes. Uh, so yeah, you follow Chuck Green, you play as him, you have to go save your daughter, give her Zombrex, which stops the uh, zombie infection in her body because she was bit. And you also have to pretty much clear your name. Like, this happens in the first case. You get framed for the zombie outbreak in uh, this uh, city. I forgot what it's called. Uh, well, I don't know. It's pretty much Vegas. And you're you're being framed by someone. You have to find out who it is. You have to clear your name. And you have to survive the zombie uh, outbreak for three days, pretty much. 72 hours. And, yeah. So, that's pretty much the story. I mean, I really like it. I mean, there's a lot of twists and turns. You have a lot of... A lot of likable characters. And overall, I really, really like the story. So, that's all. There we go. Let's go on to the sound of the game. Alright, now the sound of Dead Rising 2, I'll say right here. It's actually really, really good. The voice acting is pretty good overall. Not very cheesy. Some of them are very cheesy. Like, mostly the psychopaths that you come across. And some of the little characters that you have to save that don't really have much of a voiceover. They're just like, hey, what's up? You know. Kind of cheesy, but the main characters, they sound great. The sound effects, all the zombies, they sound like zombies. All the uh, weapons you get, they really sound cool. Like, the, all the combo weapons you get, they all have a distinct sound because most of them aren't really weapons that exist. So they pretty much had to think of, what would this sound like if you had to combine those two? And they were like, oh, that's pretty good. I, I, I would think that would be good. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what that voice was, so... Whatever. Sound overall is really, really good. I really liked it. So let's go on to the graphics of Dead Rising 2. Okay, now the graphics of Dead Rising 2 is the main thing that I was very concerned about the game. Because I played Dead Rising 2 K0, and don't worry, I'm not a big graphic hound. So I'm not even going to really take this in consideration if the game's actually good. But... I have to admit, Dead Rising 2K0 was made, made me worry because it wasn't very good. Like, some of the animations were bad, some of it, I mean, a lot of it slowed down. And in this, it's not different at all. There's a lot of effects, like the fire effects, and even the blood effects look really bad. But it's really, really cool just to see all these zombies in the mall. It's much better in Dead Rising 2 than either Dead Rising 2K0 and Dead Rising 1. There's, oh my god, there, there could be like up to 150 zombies on the screen at once, and you can go up to any one of these zombies. None of them are like, just in the background when you get to them, they'll just disappear or something, you know, like background, just to be backgrounds. You can actually go to these zombies, they'll be there, kill them, you go back, there'll be more zombies, they just keep responding, and it's awesome. I really like the graphics for that reason. The environments look pretty good, the character models are pretty good, and... The weapons themselves look really good, but the, it's it's not fantastic. The animations are a little wonky sometimes. Maybe not for the zombies, but for mo mostly like the vehicles and some of the main characters, they look a little wonky. But overall, I actually thought the graphics were much better in Dead Rising 2 than K0 or obviously Dead Rising 1 because that came out four years ago. It was a launch title, I'm pretty sure at least. No, it wasn't. It came out a year after 360. My fault. Anyway... Yeah, there you go. I really like the graphics. I don't think they're fantastic, but I think they're pretty good, even though some of the effects aren't great. So let's go on to the gameplay. Okay, now the gameplay in Dead Rising 2, I'll just say it right here, it's a lot of fun. Now, there's a few things I don't like. I'm just going to get them out of the way, like the time system where you get timed on missions and when you can do them. I don't really like that much. It's much better in this one than it was in Dead Rising 1 and even K-0. Because they give you more time to just go screw around and go save survivors in between missions. Like, one mission you'll be done, and then the other mission you don't need to do for another 10 hours in the game. So, that will be like, I don't know, 30 minutes. So, you could go, or maybe 40 minutes. You could go screw around, go save survivors or something, which is really cool. It's still a little annoying. I mean, I don't think it should be there, but still, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. 
And sometimes it gets a little repetitive if you can't find any really cool weapons. If you can't find any guns, then you can only find, like, bats and stuff. Then it gets a little boring. But when you find some of those cooler weapons, then it's much, much better and it's just fun. Now let me talk about everything else. The gameplay is just fun. When it doesn't get repetitive, like I said before, it's extremely fun. And that's all I gotta say. You got combo weapons, you got vehicles. Combo weapons is like 50 of them, so you get, that means it has to be like 100, more than 100 weapons. I think there's like 150 weapons, if I'm sure. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. Whatever. Uh, and yeah, just overall the gameplay is a lot of fun in the single player. Now let me talk about the multiplayer. The multiplayer is a lot of fun too. Co-op I didn't play yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like, uh, I don't know, any other kind of co-op game where you can jump in, you know, if they die you can go revive them and stuff. Uh, I didn't play the co-op, but I did play the actual four-player multiplayer thing, which is kind of like Fusion Frenzy. It's called Terra is Reality, and it's also in the single-player campaign. Uh, it's just there for a little while, but not really big. But, yeah, it's actually a big plot point, but you don't actually get to go on the show all that much. Uh, and, yeah, the whole multiplayer thing is kind of like a mini-game, a whole bunch of mini-games with zombies. Like, one, you have to dump a whole bunch of zombies in a weight and try to get more, like, weight more zombies in it pretty much and one you have to kill as many zombies on a motorcycle with chainsaws as you can and it's a lot a lot of fun i'm not going to keep coming back to it i'll play it for a couple of days and then stop because you know halo reach but it's a lot a lot of fun so overall the gameplay for dead rising 2 is a lot of fun i mean you can use anything in the game to kill zombies and there's plenty of zombies to kill so just overall i really really love this game it's much better than dead rising 1 it has a whole bunch of different things and I, i'll just say right here i really like this game i really i, I you know, i'll say i really love this game it's a lot of fun if you're hesitant about buying it because you don't like dead rising 1 i think you'll like this one much better because I liked Dead Rising 1 at first, and then it just got really boring and repetitive. In this one, I've been playing it for about 8 hours, and I haven't felt like I was really, really bored at all. So, overall, I gotta admit, go buy this game. Go buy it. It's really good. So, overall, I keep saying overall, oh my god. Ugh. Anyway, I'm done. Check the description for the written review, and yeah, thank you and goodbye.